Hello there, today we are talking about one of the most exciting things in Skyblock, fishing. Endgame fishing is actually a very good money maker, especially with the new nether fishing update, so now is the best time ever to whip out your rod and shoot it into the- let's just get into the guide. First, it's important to talk about how fishing works. Basically, every time you fish, you have a random chance of getting an item and fishing XP from a predetermined loot table, with the more rare items having a lower chance of being fished up. You can also fish up different sea creatures which drop their loot after you kill them. There are three main stats you need to focus on when you are leveling up your fishing. These are fishing level, fishing speed and sea creature chance. You want these to be as high as possible at any point in time. Your fishing level is a number between 0 and 50 which you can use to level up by getting fishing XP. Getting a higher fishing level is necessary to be able to use better fishing gear and catch better and more tougher sea creatures. Fishing speed is straightforward enough. It reduces the time you wait before you catch something. The main ways to level this up is through getting better fishing rods and bait. Sea creature chance is the probability that you'll catch a sea creature. You want to have this as high as possible as sea creatures give a much higher fishing XP when you kill them and also generally have better loot. With the introduction of the nether update, there is also now a divide between water and lava fishing. The main difference being is that you cannot use the normal fishing rods in lava and now there are special lava fishing rods. I would recommend that everyone starts with normal water fishing to begin with before lava fishing as it has much lower requirements. So I will first talk about water fishing and then we'll move on to lava. Now let's get into the various fishing equipment that you will need and there's no more obvious place to start than fishing rods. The very first rod that you want to get is the speedster rod. This is because it has the fastest fishing speed for a rod with no fishing level requirements. All the rods you want to get after this one can be found in the lily pad collection. You can either unlock these yourself and craft them from the collection which is cheaper or you can simply buy them from the auction house when you get the requirement to use them which is the faster method if you don't care about spending extra money or if the collection is taking too long to unlock. At fishing level 10, you want to get the challenging rod. At level 15, you want to upgrade to the rod of champions. At level 20, get the rod of legends. And finally, at level 24, upgrade to the rod of the sea, which is pretty much the best fishing rod you can get for normal fishing. Now, we also have to talk about the enchantments for fishing rods. Honestly, all the enchantments are useful in their own way, but the most important ones are Angler for higher sea creature chance, Expertise for more fishing XP and sea creature chance, Law for higher average fishing speed, and Caster to use up less bait. If you are buying a fishing rod, try to buy one with at least these enchantments on it, or of course you can put them on yourself. And if you're going the upgrade route, then simply put all the enchantments on the challenging rod as you don't lose the enchantments when you upgrade the rod. In terms of ultimate enchantments, get Flash. This gives you a small chance to instantly catch a fish, but the tier 5 costs over 60 million, so only buy it if you have the money. For reforges, Salty, Treacherous, Stiff and Lucky all give up to 7 sea creature chance depending on the rarity of the fishing rod. Stiff is a cheap option costing only 20,000. Simply buy a hardened wood reforge stone from the bazaar and add it using a reforge anvil. On the other hand, Lucky is the best one as it gives the 7 sea creature chance as well as 6 magic find, but it costs a lot more around 1 million for the Lucky Dice reforge stone. Let's also quickly talk about bait. Using bait starting out will almost definitely not be profitable, but it will let you level up your fishing a lot faster and time is money, so I would highly recommend using bait. If money is not an issue, use whale bait as it has the best stats out of all the different baits, costing around 1000 coins per bait, which if you're fishing for a long time, can quickly add up. A more purse friendly method is the spiked bait for higher sea creature spawn rate or fish bait for 30% faster fishing speed. These cost only around 50 coins per bait. You can also craft the bait from the fish you catch yourself but you probably won't have the collection unlocked so just buy them from the bazaar at least to begin with. Now let's move on to fishing armor. The main bonus stat you get from armor is sea creature charms. The progression is surprisingly simple, as soon as you unlock the requirements for the next armor, upgrade to it from your current set. Starting off, we have the angler armor, and after this, we upgrade to the salmon armor at fishing 13, sponge armor at fishing 17, 
Diver Armor at Fishing 20, Shark Skill Armor at Fishing 24. You can even skip the Diver's Armor upgrade if you want, as the Sponge Armor is used as a crafting ingredient for the Shark Skill Armor, and it costs basically nothing to upgrade it, so this is a more cost effective method and you can focus on maxing out the Sponge Armor instead of upgrading to the Diver's Armor. There are also a few sets after the Shark Armor which are new to the Crimson Isle and are not exclusive to Lava Fishing, so I will mention them here. These are the Slug Boots, Moogma Leggings, Flaming Chestplate and Taurus Helmet, all giving 3% sea creature chance each, which is 0.5% higher than the Shark Skill Armor. The requirements for this armor range from fishing 25 to 33 depending on the piece. The final and best armor is the Magma Lord Armor, which is unlocked at fishing 45 and gives 4.5% sea creature chance per piece, as well as a tiered bonus of 1 sea creature chance and 5 lava creature magic find. Okay, now let's get into the reforges and enchants for the armor. The best reforge by far is the submerged reforge, as this gives up to one additional sea creature chance per piece of armor, depending on its rarity. There aren't really any armor enchants specifically for fishing, but an ultimate enchant you can get is legion. This increases all your stats for every player close to you, and so is only effective when you're fishing in groups. Don't bother spending money on this if you're fishing solo. Finally, let's talk about pets. You actually need several pets for fishing. The first pet you will need is the legendary squid pet. This is because it has an ability which boosts all fishing XP you get by 30% at max level. This is great for leveling up your fishing level faster. The next pet you will need is the Ammonite pet. This gives 7% sea creature chance at max level with a bonus 1% per heart of the mountain level you have unlocked, as well as up to 36% faster fishing depending on your mining level. Of course, the stats of this pet are somewhat reliant on your mining progression, so if you don't have a high mining level, an alternative is the Dolphin pet giving fishing speed for nearby players and higher sea creature chance. I will also give a special mention to the Mythic Flying Fish pet. This pet can be extremely good if paired with the Magma Lord armor, as it increases all of the armor stats by 20%, which in itself is great, but it also gives 50% fishing speed and 50% higher chance for the flash enchantment to activate. So in the very late game, this might even be better than the Ammonite pet. The way you want to utilize the different pets is that you use either the Ammonite, Dolphin or Flying Fish pet when you're actually fishing, and then switch to the squid pet when killing sea creatures. You can either do this by letting the sea creatures stack up and then manually switching pets, or by using auto pet rules to switch between the different pets. In terms of pet items, Washed Up Souvenir and Minos Relic are the two best bets, with fishing XP boost also being good to level up your pet if it's not max level. Okay, that's a normal water fishing summed up, and now we will go into lava fishing. The lowest level sea creature here requires fishing 27 and the highest fishing 45. It is recommended to at least be somewhere in between these fishing levels before you even start lava fishing, otherwise you simply won't catch anything of value. Now the first thing you will realize is that the rod of the sea you spent so much money on is now completely useless in lava. Instead you have to get special lava fishing rods. These are the Magma Rod unlocked at Fishing 27, Inferno Rod at Fishing 30, and the Hellfire Rod at Fishing 35. There is also a Starter Rod, but you might as well continue normal fishing with how slow that thing is. The enchantments and reforges work the exact same way as normal fishing rods, but there is one extra feature. Fishing rods, as well as all other gear from the Crimson Isle, come with up to two different attributes, which give a variety of different stats. Attribute can be upgraded using the slash attribute menu by salvaging a piece of gear or attribute shard with the same level attribute as the one you are looking to upgrade. The best attributes you want on your fishing rods are the double hook and fishing speed or the hunter attribute if you still need extra sea creature chance. The lava armor sets that I mentioned before also have different attributes and the ones you want to get for fishing are blazing fortune and fishing experience. It is also important to talk about trophy fishing. When lava fishing, you have a chance to catch special trophy fish with different rarities. Each trophy fish can only be caught in certain places and with certain conditions. I will leave a link to a list of the different requirements for catching each trophy fish in the description. After you catch these trophy fish, you then turn them into Oja, who's located at the top back of the volcano, 
who turns the fish into magma fish, which are then used to upgrade the lava rods I mentioned before, if you're not simply buying them. There are also rewards for catching every fish of a certain tier. Now, most of these rewards are completely useless, apart from the first two tiers, as this allows you to be able to catch the Thunder and Lord Jabba sea creatures respectively. You want to trophy fish at least until you unlock these tiers, and then you can basically leave trophy fishing forever. Finally, I will end with some general tips for fishing. Other ways to increase sea creature chance, apart from the ones I already mentioned, are recombobulating any gear to get bonuses from the reforges, or just tooth reward from trophy fishing, the lava shell or delirium necklaces, but these do have massive drawbacks so aren't really recommended, the marina and jerry mayor which gives significant bonuses, the sea emperor century cake, and finally the sea creature enrichment that you can buy from the community shop. Note that you often won't need all of these bonuses as you can hit 100% sea creature chance and then any bonus that you get after that is basically wasted stats so if you're at 100% focus on leveling up other fishing stats instead. As well as Odger's Tooth, other useful accessories that you can get include the Fish Affinity Talisman, Spiked Atrocity and the Sea Creature Artifact. Fishing during events such as the Spooky Event, Jerry Pond and fishing, and fishing Festivals is a great idea as it not only gives exclusive loot that is worth more, but the mobs from the events give more fishing XP in general compared to normal fishing so it is good to level up your fishing faster. Now this is kind of an obvious point but these Crimson Isle Sea Creatures have a lot of HP, with the lowest health mob having a million. So. Make sure you have a way of efficiently killing them, otherwise there's no point to be fishing there in the first place. One good idea is switching your Magma Lord helmet or wither goggles and using a mage setup as this will help you do more damage, and at this point you likely already have sea creature chance even without the helmet equipped. Lava fishing in the crystal hollows used to be a really good way to get fishing XP, but now that normal fishing rods don't work in lava, Using a non-upgraded lava fishing rod may well be slowing down the efficiency of this method. Maybe someone in the comments could say if this method is still useful or not, but I likely doubt it. In terms of what locations you want to fish, most locations have the same drops so don't worry about that too much. A location with a cliff is a good idea as you can let the sea creatures stack up before you kill them and you don't have to keep switching between fishing and killing the sea creatures. Now the final tip that I have. You probably already know what this is, but it's to subscribe to get more useful guides like this one in the future. And if you already have, thank you, it means a lot. That's pretty much it for this video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching.